Yes, well, I've done a PhD in creative writing. Um, there was a creative component, which was uh, the memoir of my immigration career, and that's called The Compassionate Bastard, Memoir of an Immigration Officer. And there's the theoretical component, or the exegesis, which is the, uh, about the theory and ethics of memoir writing. So it's creative non-fiction is the, the genre of memoir. And basically I had a 13-year career for the immigration department and um, I did all sorts of evil and horrible things to uh, people who wanted to stay in Australia, uh, putting them in detention and all that sort of stuff. And then I reflected on those experiences and you know, wrote about it and also then looked at the, the study of, um, well, first of all, why there's so few people who write administrative memoirs. There's all sorts of legal issues about the Official Secrets Act and all that sort of thing. So it was a, a sort of a, a creative plus academic look at memoir. The, sort of the big ticket job I had was the Villawood Detention Centre. I was the manager of that for about five years and that was you know, synonymous with um, mass escapes and um, allegations of inhuman practice and all that sort of stuff, which all of which I can, you know, put my hand on my heart as, you know, not as reported in the media. And this is part of the reason I was writing, was to try and present a fuller picture of a complex subject. You know, it was the Philip Ruddock years, it was John Howard and all that sort of thing. And so this is, uh, I felt there was a book had to be written to put more out in the public domain about uh, what really went on behind the scenes. Uh, what's the dream? I've got um, interest from publishers, which is uh, very exciting, and um, it will come out this year, but as yet, not sure which publisher. I've got three that are looking at it and uh, a feisty independent who says definitely if the, the big end of commercial publishing doesn't pick it up then it'll definitely come out. So I'm pretty confident that sometime this year it'll be out there. Well my supervisor was uh, fabulous, you know, she was golden and uh, she you know, lived it and breathed it with me while I was writing this book and she uh, you know, really assured me that it was something that there was an audience for and uh, helped me through the you know, things that didn't come naturally to me like the, the, the the, the rigour of academia, which, you know, you tell a, a whole bunch of funny stories about an exotic job, it's not quite the same thing as actually studying it and putting it into an academic perspective, and, and her experience um, was just golden, so really great support from my supervisor, was, I think it's the key to all this sort of level study.